Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are once again working on the Altima CR, as you can see right here. We are replacing a vacuum hose, which yeah, I had mentioned before, if you recall. All right. It is uh, a vacuum leak and it's causing the item to be pretty rough on the car. So I figured I'd take it upon myself and show you guys how to replace the hose. Um, since there are no, at, at the at this point in time, there are no videos or forms on how to replace it. And I'm going to show you guys my version of how to replace this hose. Uh, this is the first time of me even attempting to do anything like this. Um, so bear with me if I mess up somewhere. Uh, let me know what you guys think at the end. So here is the hose that we are replacing. So if you can see right here, you can see the clamp and this hose runs it back. And um, it currently has a hole in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it right there. You see that? There is the hole and that is the leak and it runs back there somewhere. I think I can see it. I think I can see it, but it's kind of it's a pretty small space to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the intake manifold, and that way I can scoot that to the side and have access to the hose and have a little bit more wiggle room as far as uh, being able to, you know, work with some tools back there and unclamp the clamps and remove the hose and replace it. So first, we're gonna go ahead and remove the, the uh, engine cover. All right, so now that the engine cover is off and set to the side, we're gonna go ahead and start unbolting everything we need to unbolt. And before I get too far ahead of myself, um, here's the actual hose I'm replacing. It is called the blow-by gas hose. Um, it took me a while to figure out what it was, but I managed to find it on uh, the Nissan part diagram. And uh, yeah, so here's the part number. The name of it, just in case you're wondering what to look for. So, throw that to the side. Um, so first we're gonna go ahead and um, remove this and this. So to remove this, this is a 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Go ahead and remove those bolts. All right, I removed that and the bolts, I put them back where they go, that way I don't lose them. So now I am going to remove this. So you have to unclamp here, unscrew, unscrew, or unbolt, whichever way you go. With that out of the way, I'm gonna unbolt this. I believe it's a 10 millimeter. All right, so now that we have that unbolted, we're gonna move on to these two, 12 millimeters. Um, we're gonna um, take those uh, nuts off. Let's go ahead and get those off. When you take off the the nuts and the washers here. Uh, make sure to keep track of uh, in what order they what order they came off. That way you can put them on back the same way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the, the the negative. That way I don't cause any kind of short circuit or something. Just to be able to save that, since I will be dealing with the the, the connectors. All right. Now that I've removed the the negative side, uh, I'm going to remove this bracket. Remove this bolt right here. That is a 10 millimeter. All right, now that we remove the bracket right from right here, we're gonna start unbolting these. Unbolting these, one, two, three. These are a 12 millimeter, so we're gonna go ahead and unbolt those. All right, so now that we've removed those three bolts, we're gonna remove this nut right here and this nut right back here. Um, that, once again, requires a 12 millimeter. Now that we've removed the nuts, the intake manifold is actually, as you can hear it, you probably can't see it because of my shaky hand, but um, it's loose now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around and see what else is holding it down, if there's anything else. And then um, I know for sure that there, these connectors right there are actually gonna prevent it from getting pulled out all the way. So I will disconnect that and look, at, check everywhere else and see what else is holding it down, and then we'll go from there. So, so as I'm walking around, trying to see what else there is to disconnect, there is one thing. Hopefully you can see it. Um, this right here, this. Here, closer look. This right here needs to be disconnected, so unclamp that. These connectors need to be disconnected. 
So as you can see, I disconnected this connector, the connector right here, one and two. These plugs, they were a little bit hard to get to, so you might want to get that this little piece right here, give it a nice press down on it pretty hard. That way you can just pop it off. It's a little, little difficult. And um, this hose back here is actually a pain in the butt. Um, after I clamped it, it was kind of hard to pull it out, so I had to use the uh, flathead screwdriver to kind of apply some pressure on the front end of the hose and just pop it off and, but, and it might give you a little trouble so, um, so I believe that's everything so now we're gonna go ahead and try to um, take the part of the intake manifold off so one thing I forgot to let you guys know is uh it's actually disconnect the uh, well that hose we're replacing I completely forgot to disconnect it so make sure to to uh, unclamp it and disconnect it because that that will prevent you from removing part of the intake manifold off. Um, so now we're right now where I'm at is uh, I was able to lift it up a little. Uh, now I'm trying to trying to completely take it off. I'm having issues right here, right here keeps getting stuck. This keeps on preventing it from popping all the way out. Um, that far, but uh, should be able to get it get it out shortly. You might struggle a little bit. Um, if you could find something to, to take right here where the where the uh, nuts were, take this off and take these off. If you could find some way to take this off, that'd be great. But um, I don't have anything that could take them off at my disposal right now. So um, I'm just trying to work with what I got. So I'm gonna keep continuing to try and take this off. We're pretty much we're pretty close to it. And um, here shortly, uh, I'll show you guys how to replace the replace the hose and. We'll, we'll continue to move on so I was able to pop it out a little bit more um, as you can see right here we have cleared that and clear these um, all I you just gotta give it a pretty tough uh, yank yank it up a little and pull out to to that side a little bit so you gotta you know give it a tug at an angle and um, yeah so now I'm trying to take set it to the side and it's getting stuck somewhere so I'm still trying to trying to figure that out and see see what what's going on um, so give me a brief moment and I'll figure that out notice that what also was holding uh, holding part of the intake manifold back was right here these what well, we disconnected the actual connector themselves are kind of um, are kind of I don't know if you can see that these are actually strapped onto this so we're gonna go ahead and try and remove those from their brackets real quick Taking these uh, connectors off from the bracket wasn't too hard. Um, just gotta press these right here, tab there, and tab here. This one being the one that goes there, this one goes here, and this little piece. Uh, you just press the tabs and they come right off as soon as you, you know. You just whoop, you pop that out. And um, I did struggle a little with the black one because it was a little too tight, so I had to use a one of my smaller. Allen wrench is actually to try and press a tab and give it enough pressure to it pop it off. So we should be able to remove the intake manifold. So we're, let's go ahead and try it again. All right, so that definitely worked. Um, here we go. We have our fish to set it to the side. Now we can actually go ahead and uh, start replacing the hose, which is right. One sec. Uh, there we go. This hose right here. It connects right there. It runs it down, connects there, so we're gonna, as you can see there's a clamp, so we're gonna clamp that. That way we can go ahead and remove it. Um, all right, so I was actually able to take off the hose right here. Um, it was a pain in the butt taking it off because, the, uh, let's just say, these uh, these flies right here are too big. You need something more along this line, something more small, like as you can see the size, um, to be able to, you know, have enough uh, room to open up the the pliers and pinch the um, or squeeze the the clamp and uh, you know you'll be able to move the clamp out the way you have room wiggle it out pull the hose give it a, a big tug and uh, yeah so now we have a fisher taking out the hose which is it is right here gonna go ahead and take these clamps off and put on the new one and put the new one back on so here we go all right, so now we have officially moved the clamp over to the new, the new hose. So went ahead and put that on, put the clamp on. Um, 
did that side first since it's the side that's easy that's uh, harder to put on so went ahead and got that out the way so now i'm gonna put the clamp on this one and uh start well start bring, putting everything back together clamp back on and if you're gonna go ahead and uh, if you plan on changing spark plugs anytime soon if i were yeah, i would go ahead and and wood since you'll have access to the spark plug right here the ignition coils and all that so that'd probably be a good idea for you to do um this car has some pretty new um let's just say i replaced the spark plugs not too long ago and um so i'm not too worried about that so yeah so we're gonna put the intake manifold back on try and wedge it on and then connect everything once again so before you plan on uh putting the intake manifold back into place you i should probably say that um make sure to these uh, connectors that we ended up unplugging should probably pop them back into the bracket because then you're gonna have to well you're gonna struggle to put them back back on if the intake manifold is already in place so uh, yes yeah, so make sure to put plug in the connectors back to the bracket and then connect them and that way you can reattach that hose right there right here reattach this hose we uh, reattach the hose we replaced and uh, yeah, do that and that way we can go ahead and start, start bolting everything back together that we took apart. Alright, so now I have officially uh, connected the hose back that we replaced, the connectors, their plugs and everything, that hose back there. Put the, put the intake manifold back to its position. Um, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and put everything back together and I'm going to start from by uh, putting this bracket back up here. All right, so all right, so this bracket is back on. Um, now I'm gonna bolt, put these bolts back in right here, and then put the nuts. Uh, I believe these are 12 millimeters, 12 millimeter, I believe. And this one right here, this one right here is a 10 millimeter. So now that these bolts are back in, these nuts are back in. We're gonna put this bracket right here. We're gonna reattach it with a 10 millimeter all right so once this this is back on put these nuts back on remember they go in a specific order so we're gonna put those back on all right so now those are back in place we're gonna put this canister right there put this little switch thing right there all right, so these are put back on. Um, tighten them up, 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter. And uh, I believe that's it. Actually, no, we forgot that part. All right, so now we have, now we have officially reattached the boot. Clamp, 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 three clamps. All we gotta do is really is just put the engine cover back on. Uh, engine cover on, battery plug back in. All right, here we go, moment of truth. smoke for some reason. No more rough idling. You can tell. No more leaks. No more hissing sound. Everything is running good. So, that is the end of... Uh, that's the end for this video. Um, I showed you guys how to replace that uh, blow by gas hose, and um, obviously a first for me and first for a video. And um, pretty happy, you know. Everything, no more rough idling, you know, because that was causing the car to shake and also to well get to the point where the RPMs would drop pretty badly, and the car actually turned off on me one time. But um, are you guys here? good now uh, so that's the end of this video um, go ahead and press the like button leave a comment subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more Ultima SER content uh, I've been mostly doing just a couple small things here and there but I do have bigger plans in mind for the car um, so yeah so go ahead and do that and until then see you next time